Hey, hey, it's NY Hunter coming to you uh, with Studio Series Shockwave. And um, you can see he's a core class here. I don't know why they chose to make him a core, core class. I just, I just, oh, hate the idea. And, um, uh, but in any case, uh, let's just get this over with. <laughs> I I don't really like him that much and I don't really like uh, I mean I don't really like this figure very much but it's worth reviewing mm, I did pick him up from Target and uh, we can see here he is missing from the box because I have him to my right um, but yeah we have the shockwave here uh, nice artwork as always um, from the movie this time um, here's his little Cybertronian tank mode and uh, his robot mode the robot mode looks okay. Um, his cannon is a little large, um, but um, yeah, I can't remember if it was that way in the movie. But anyway, um, he does have good detail. <clears throat> and then inside, of course, you have that white paper that goes with all the figures and the instructions. Um, nicely done, actually. Um, oh yeah, here's that white paper. Okay, and then we'll just slip this back in here. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get on with this review. We'll put this over here. And like I said, he's to my right and here he is. And here's this Mr. Core Class Shockwave. Shall we zoom in? I think so. Okay. Um, yeah, so as I said, he's got some good detail, um, the tracks of the treads here, tracks or treads, you know, um, the back of the legs, it doesn't seem to be that much holiness. Um, his arms too, for a core class, look pretty well defined and pretty well detailed. He's got his cannon that you can put on the left or the right actually, um, but here we've got it on the left and it's more of a gun, it's inside his fist over here. Um, let's see, a little bit closer, we can see the backside. Uh, he's got a hole in his head, and that's where this uh, this cannon's gonna go in Cybertronian tank mode. And you can probably tell already. Once again, we have a case of no wheels, just tracks. Um, so yeah, he'll just be pushed around wherever you want him to go. Um, but yeah, um, the head's got a nice look as well. Um, I read somewhere. You can confirm if I am wrong or right. But I read somewhere that perhaps this is going to be an army of little shockwaves and a big shockwave would be produced soon. I don't know if that's true, um, but in any case, that's him. Um, let's take the cannon off now and we can actually let me zoom out a little bit. OK, and we'll take the cannon off and actually let me zoom out for once. That's nice. <clears throat> you can see now that he does have two fists one in each hand. All right, and then we have the cannon right here. And um, yeah, yeah, no big deal. <laughs> this has got a lot of it, gaps in it, um, but uh, this will be his cannon mode in the tank, uh, his cannon in the tank mode. Uh, so let's transform him. Uh, shouldn't be too hard or too long. Um, let's see. We'll start off with the legs. How about that? Let's move his arms up to get them out of the way. We'll fold these front ends down. Oh, there's some air gap here and here. Okay, and then we'll, if you've ever transformed Iron Factory Sea Spray, we'll do the same type of thing with his legs like this and like this. And so that'll be the front of the tank. And then his chest actually opens up and flips down this way. So let's get that. Yep. So flip this like that and pull outward and then we'll fold it all the way down so his chest becomes his new crotch piece. <laughs> and then this bottom uh, area will tab in here. Okay. And then once we get that in there, we can use You'll see holes here and here and pins here and here. We'll get those pins in these holes and that'll be the front of the tank basically done. Um, okay, so now 
this part, you can see I'm already folding this. Uh, it can go up like this, and that's the way it needs to go. We'll need to, but before we do this, uh, while it's like this, all right, this is something I like to do because his cannon is so tight on him, and I'm afraid that I'll break this handle. So um, we gotta fold this out first. Um, so it'll be like an L shape because it'll go into the back of his head. But then I like to turn the head first. So it's facing the right way. And then we will take this and twist it in. And this will save a lot of headaches later. Or actually, yeah, it's loosened up a little bit. We can just shove it in. But hello, that's his head there. And then his gun is basically attached to it, facing the other way. And now we can flip it forward. And then you'll see this notch can go, or this tab can go into that notch and hold itself a little more <clears throat> securely. And then with the arms now, we'll fold them down like this. And there's, ta there's a hole here and a hole here that can go into the tab here and a tab here. So we'll fold that and get that in. And you know, it's not the most secure hold, but it tells you where, how the arm should be situated a little bit diagonal, which uh, might not have <clears throat> been understood without that. And then now uh, we want to we want to keep the elbows able to fold up and down like this. Uh, as you can see, this one's not that way. Uh, so let's fold. Uh, this part's a little tricky. You gotta hold the part that you want to turn and turn it. Okay. And then with the tracks now, the tracks should be at the bottom, of course. You gotta hold the elbow so it stays still and solid. And then flip this this way and then oh yeah here's another tab and another hole that tells you how the arm should be situated okay and then we'll do the same thing here um, this one is already bending up and down right here so we just need to get the track down let's hold here and turn you can see how it wants to turn the other way all right and then we'll put this tab in the hole right there okay <clears throat> and yep all right, and then huh, this one's a little bit out of line, as you can see. It's supposed to be like an H. Um, let me angle this a little bit more. That looks better. Uh, kind of. But anyway, that's the way he is. Okay, and uh, yeah, so that's Cybertronian tank mode. Um, if you have his gun up like this, I don't know. I think it looks like there's too much gap here, so I try to keep it down a little bit. And uh, we'll put him here and zoom in on him. But uh, I don't know. I guess it's all right. Uh, look, there's his head staring back at you. I wish they would have concealed that a little more. Um, but yeah, um, Cybertronian tech mode. I always say, uh, like a broken record, I wish they would do more Cybertronian modes. And they did try. Um, and yeah, it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's okay it's okay uh but yeah uh, that's all i can say about this uh this uh shockwave i wish he was bigger uh the size that he's supposed to be but then his articulation or uh transformation should would be need to be better also uh and of course like i said no wheels just these lines here and they're not even smooth to push i don't want to do it too much because i want to scratch this mirrored surface but um yeah that's about it for him um tell me what you think i'm not too uh i'm not too impressed uh anyway um this is ny hunter uh and if you enjoyed this uh please uh thumbs up and please subscribe uh look for me on patreon should you desire link is below and i will chat with you guys again very very soon Bye bye <laughs>